As you recall in the previous training video, anytime you delete an item to the recycle bin and then you empty the recycle bin, it says that it's permanently deleted. Or if you select a file, hold down the shift key and hit delete, it says it's going to permanently delete the file if you click yes. I'm going to go ahead and click no. Well, you don't want to trust that if you're going to give your computer to somebody else or donate it. Because these files, they may be permanently deleted or not available to the average user looking at it, but it's still sitting on the hard drive, for example. Let me come up here and double-click on the computer, and then pick one of my hard drives, the main hard drive, and right-click on it and go down to Properties. I love visuals, don't you? Well, here's the main hard drive. You can see that the blue is the use space, and the pink is the free space. Basically, your hard drive is a circular disk. So when I take a bunch of files and I permanently delete them, they're deleted from my view, but they still sit as little segments on the computer here. And the computer looks at those segments and says, okay, the user no longer wants these, but we'll just leave them here until that user has more information. Because as more information comes in, as you save more documents and load up more programs, it comes over this little segment here and it says, hey, the user said that this file is supposed to be permanently deleted or it's no longer of value to them. Let's go ahead and overwrite that. But if you don't have anything else to overwrite it, it just sits there. So if I go ahead and I permanently delete everything on my computer, as so it says in the previous training video, by emptying the recycle bin, and then I give you my computer or maybe an IT person who has the right software, they can come in here and look at all these segments on the hard drive, what's supposed to be permanently deleted, and pull them back out. And go, great, now you've got all their passwords, and I can go ahead and get in their checking accounts, whatever you have there. Now, if your computer is having problems and you want to be able to retrieve those files or have an IT person retrieve them for you, you don't want to go, oh, I lost some files here. It looks like I permanently deleted them. Let me go ahead and continue on working because if you add more information, you may overwrite those segments that the files could still be there. But again, the computer just looks at the segments and says, well, this is something that's not important. So when we get more information, we'll just go ahead and fill that in or override it. So in other words, if you lost a file or something, and you can't retrieve it, it's probably best that you take it right to an IT person. You don't keep working if you can, because then you can override it, and the IT person's like, well, it's gone. In any case, if you want to be able to make sure that these files, everything on your hard drive is permanently wiped out, erased, so you can donate your computer to, I don't know, charity or somebody, let me go ahead and close out. Close out, and what I recommend, and this is going to be a plug for the company Webroot, there may be other companies, but let me come down here, and click and open up Internet Explorer and come up in the search field here and type in Web Root. Web Root has a program, besides from Antivirus Spy Sweeper, they have what's called Window Washer. Click on it and it takes me to the Google search page and there it is. I visited this link before because it's in purple. Click on it and there it is. Window Washer does a lot of things, but let me scroll down, the least of which is called a Total System Erase. Window Washer can be set to fully erase your hard drive files programs. In fact, I've used this and it even says how many levels of wiping it can do. I think the Department of Defense does three wipings. So it'll go ahead and wipe it once or erase it, then go back and wipe it again. So it can get all the segments that, that it may not have gotten in the first wipe. So when you wipe it several times, then it's not retrievable. In any case, you may want to check this out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.